This 1967 Plymouth Belvedere II is a true time capsule. It was repainted in its original bronze metallic. It's got the uh, steel rims all painted with the dog dish hubcaps, BFG raised white letter tires, and just a fantastic car from bumper to bumper. It does have power steering, dual exhaust, I believe to be its original 318 engine. Engine runs great, still has the factory fender tag. Original paint in the um, underneath the hood, in the trunk compartment, door jams, all of that is original paint with one exterior repaint. And you can just kind of tell here the repaint color match was absolutely perfect. Engine runs nice, again does have power steering. Our gap is excellent on both sides of the hood, nice uh, smooth finish. All the way across the car, the lines look great. As far as our grill and, and uh, front eyebrow trim, there's a couple little dings and stuff like that, but the majority of these old Plymouths like this, just for some reason they took a beating on the front grill and a lot of them were in bad shape. This one looks all original um, and really for original is in excellent shape. Some of the black is starting to come off a little bit, but uh, all in all it's in great shape. Front bumpers look excellent. Really nice chrome on the front bumper. This is just a sweetheart of a car. If you look up and down the sides of it, uh, the body is laser straight. Uh, go to our website, uh, www.coyoteclassics.com. You'll see all the pictures of the original trunk floor, original trunk paint. That's rust free in there. The floors, the frame rails, everything underneath this was a factory undercoated car a little bit. Um, as far as the undercarriage, um, is in excellent shape as well. So, very nice undercarriage. Um, if we go to our uh, Lower fender, no bubbles or blisters anywhere in the lower fender. As far as our uh, gaps and stuff go here on the uh, passenger side, nice even gaps. Here's a good look at our wheels. I mean, they've all been blasted and painted body color, absolutely gorgeous. Paint on the front fender is excellent. We do have a little paint chip right here, guys. Very small. As we look uh, across the hood and cowl, um, no dings or ripples anywhere that I can see. Got another little paint chip right here along the edge. I'm guessing the paint job was done probably in the last 10 years. I mean, it still has a beautiful luster. Shines up nice. We did get it in and give it a light uh, polish. We go down here to the bottom of the door, rocker panel, all that is excellent. Rocker panel is all painted underneath the car as well, so it's just done very professionally. Again, no rust that I could see underneath. Very, very clean, original undercarriage. Dual exhaust sounds nice. Again, you look up and down the sides. Um, not a not a high-end, high, high-end high uh, paint job, but a really nice local local car show quality job. Just a beautiful turnkey local car show quality car in general. Uh, the Both front and the back bumper has been re-chromed. It's absolutely gorgeous. Uh, the back trim's all original. There again, it's got just a little, a little tiny little marks in here. Very, very small. I wouldn't really call it pitting at all. Um, all in all, the trim on this car is great. And here's your uh, trunk lid gaps. Look how nice this back fits here. Chrome lines up great, the back fits great. If we look across the trunk lid, it's nice and straight. Might 
be just a little, as I see in the light, just so I don't feel it, but just a tiny little ding. You can't feel it right there, but I can kind of see if the light's right. Back glass is crystal clear. There again, this trim is all original. A lot of times that's just heavily pitted and, and gross. This is nice trim on this car. Back glass, like I said, is excellent original. Trim's nice around that. Um, roof rail is awesome here. There's no bubbles or blisters. Top of the quarters is excellent. Check out how these doors open and close. The rubber is the original door rubber, guys. You can just tell. But look at the condition of it. You can just tell by feeling it. You know, it's not soft anymore, but I'll tell you what, it's in fantastic shape. And it uh, looks to me like original paint still in these door jams. Check out that corner there. Um, this car has had an uh, absolutely high quality interior restoration. You can see that by the interior paint. The black used on the interior panels is just a high gloss, kind of, I'd say a base coat, clear coat if I had a guess. Um, door panels, armrests, bases, the chrome on the bases is perfect. Look at your handles here. But again, original paint in the door jams. You can just see the original, here's bare metal right there guys, that's the original paint in the door jams. So quarters are excellent. Carpet's new, seat covers are new. Look in here, original paint, no rust, no issues. I didn't even know we had this stuff. Here is the original, look at the uh, condition. Look at the condition of the inside of the uh, glove box and stuff. The original 67 uh, owner's manual here. Original uh, Union tires. like a factory build sheet, broadcast sheet for it. A copy of the original title it looks like, issued in 1967. This car was sold brand new in Montana. Like I said guys, this is just an absolute cream puff of a car. Um, here is your CERTA card. Montana, Terry. Purchased it. Well, it looks like there's some more, uh, some receipts and some more information here as well from the original. Maybe a bill of sale or something like that. It's all in here. All comes with the car. But the restoration on the interior on this super nice original car is fantastic. Look at the trim along here. The chrome on the radio. I mean, it's just fantastic. <laughs> This is a three on the tree, factory three speed on the column, never been switched, could always be easily converted to a four speed if that's something you want. But the interior restoration, the seat restoration of this car, they even put the correct stoppers on the backs. Uh, it's got seat belts front and rear, interior paint, dome light works good, headliners perfect, back shelf, back door panels, you name it. I give the interior a a nine and a half to a ten. It's absolutely gorgeous on the interior. Um, when they did it, it seems like they put all new seat pads and cushions in it. It seems like anyway. They're nice and pliable. It's got the retractable seat belts. Door lines up perfectly. You can tell this car was never rusty and it was always just a really nice kind of low mileage car. Engine sits here and runs great. It's been idling here for about 10-15 minutes. Look up and down the sides, nice straight car. No bubbles or blisters in the quarter panel behind the wheel. Over the wheel looks excellent. Front of the wheel, doors, lower fenders, again, rocker panels. Really nice restoration. 
Our door gap is perfect. We do have a paint chip right here in the cowl area. The mirror's in nice shape. The glass is crystal clear. Um, windshield looks nice as well. Looks like the original windshield. Um, we talked about the door rubbers being original, which is absolutely crazy for as the age of the car, but they are. And so are the roof rail rubbers. Now the roof rail rubbers do have some little cracks in them, so they could probably be changed, but they are original, so are the felts. And that window goes up perfectly. Same thing with this rubber, seems original as well. But the windows are just super nice and smooth. <clears throat> There's your VIN number. I don't think we looked at the door. Rust free door. The seats, headliner, just like the passenger side, absolutely perfect. Nice and pliable. Back of the seats, got all the nice plastic grommets and everything. It's just. Whoever did the restoration on this interior really took his time. As far as our, our gauge cluster goes, I do have a resistor coming. The fuel gauge and tamp gauge resistor is bad in it. It's intermittent, so I've got a new one coming there. Heater fan works. work horn works so the radio and the gas gauge and temp gauge right now are not working the gas gauge and temp gauge will both be fixed like oh emergency brake works also guys so the emergency brake holds well um, as we look up here it's got the day night mirror the headliner visors everything is absolutely flawless look at the chrome I mean the chrome is at a I don't know if you can see it in the video, but it's absolutely perfect along here. Chrome's all highly polished. All along the top of the headliner area. The odometer shows 33,238. Um, I'm guessing it's 133, but I don't have any information that it's 33 or 133. I don't know. Transmission shifts great again three speed on the tree for second third shifts very nicely turn signal works over on the left side um, turn signal I don't know if it lens is dirty or what but is not working on the right side front fender but the left one does work speedometer works also and the power steering guys is just super nice on the car one finger right down the middle of the road, drives perfectly straight. Steering box seems nice and tight. Brakes got a nice full pedal on the brakes. It does have dual exhaust, but you can't hardly even hear it run at the stop sign. Go ahead and roll my window down quick. It's an idle, it's perfect. If you look at the window felts and stuff like that, they're all in great shape. And again, this, these windows are just nice and smooth. Little 318 manual, still gets right with the program. It's right up to 55, 60 mile an hour. Cruises down the road really nice, 60 mile an hour, straight down the road. Um, one other thing, guys, it does come with new. Uh, I noticed this in the trunk; it comes with it, but. Um, the rubbers don't look that bad on the wing windows, but the air leaks just a little better on that wing window and it comes with new rubbers for that as well. As far as running it down the road, does not need alignment. 
Brake stop nice and straight. There's your brakes. Full pedal, stop straight. It's just got the drum brakes, but they stop excellent. Here's your synchro down in second. Takes right off, runs under ice, fantastic.